Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack here from Jacktastic Tech, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to update Cisco iOS on a router or switch. The first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is create a VLAN, assign it to a port, uh, verify connectivity to the TFTP server, copy the file from TFTP, select it as the boot file, and then reload the system to upgrade the iOS. Okay, so first things first, we went ahead to Cisco's website and we downloaded the most updated uh, version of iOS for this switch, which is this file right here for the Cisco uh, Catalyst 3750. It is 12.2 TAC55 SE12. That is the most up-to-date version. The version that's currently on there is 12.2 TAC50.SE3. Uh, SE3. So we're gonna be updating quite a bit here. So uh, we loaded this file into the uh, TFTP root directory and for TFTP server, we're using uh, SolarWinds TFTP. It's free, super easy to configure, just uh, set an IP address on the um, interface you're gonna be using to connect to your switch or router and then just bind to all and it'll work just fine. So let's go ahead and get into our switch here. So we're already enabled. So let's do conf T to get into configure terminal. And then let's go ahead and create our VLAN. So we're gonna do VLAN two, and then we don't need to name it, so we can exit, and then we can interface with VLAN two and assign it an IP address. So we're gonna do IP add 10.10.10.1 and then assign it a subnet mask of .128. So once we do that, we're almost done our configuration. We're just gonna to need to enable IP routing and then uh, interface with, in this case, port number two here. It's gonna be FA2 slash zero slash two. Once we're in that, we can do switch port mode access to make this as, uh, an access port. And then we can do switch port access VLAN two. So now once that's done, uh, we should be able to ping from our desktop to our uh, switch and from our switch to our desktop. So let's do a do ping. 10.10.10.2, and it should come through. Uh, at the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a window of command prompt. So ping 10.10.10.1, and just like that, it comes through. Here, it did not, so let's try it again. Oh, just changed to up, and there we go. So here you can see all five packages or packets went through, and all four here. So now that we have that, we uh, verified connectivity between our desktop and our switch, our desktop hosting the TFTP server. So let's go ahead and pull this file. All right, and so now we can go ahead and copy TFTP flash. Actually, we don't need that there. We need it at the end there. Uh, put in the IP address of our computer, which is gonna be 10.10.10.2, uh, hit enter our file name we're going to be pulling is right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll copy that in, hit enter, uh, hit enter again for the destination file name. And we can see it connected. That's what the exclamation point means. And now over the next few moments, it's going to go ahead and copy. So I'll be right back once that's done. Okay. And so our file just finished copying. So what we can go ahead and do now is get back into configure terminal. Uh, and then we're going to do boot system. And then we're gonna do um, flash, and then the name of the file. So again, we can just copy that in here. Oh, uh, let's see, right there. So Alt C, and then go ahead, Alt V that. And now that goes there, and we can do a do show boot. And just like that, we can see it's gonna go ahead and boot from this file now. Then we can go ahead and just uh, exit out and do a reload command, save the system configuration, and it's gonna go ahead and reload the switch and it'll boot into this latest file. So once this is done, um, we should be all good. All right, and so the reload completed and up here we can see the switch version is the 12.2 55 se12 just to 100 percent that we can go ahead enable the switch get into configure terminal mode and do a do show ver which is going to show us the version 
And right here, we can see the system uh, image file is the one we selected. And the version is right here, the 12.255 SE12. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you liked it, go ahead, drop a like down below. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike. And if you really enjoyed it, tell me why in a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. And until next time, peace out.